<laughs> All right, y'all. I want to remind y'all while we're here talking, and my girl, my my sister, my great sister is texting me right now. I know I haven't talked about it in a minute because you know we've been getting things together. I've been moving with her. The T.S. Madison Starter House program is still a thing that's going on. We plan to open our doors in October. Uh, that's the T.S. Madison Starter House. I partnered up with Nasim um, uh, in the Borealis program and uh, Dominique Morgan. And I've again, I've donated my um, old house mm -hmm. that I lived in for 17, 18 years. Mm -hmm. To you know, bringing housing together for my disenfranchised uh, trans women who are either trying to leave the sex work business and, and obtain skills in order mm -hmm. to, and, and that are homeless. So, yeah, uh, we still with that that program is still in the runnings. I haven't talked about it in a second because you know I've been in motion and working and all this type of stuff. But the TS Master Starter House is it definitely in full effect. Um, we'll where do they make donations? Because somebody uh, DM me the other day about that. Uh, uh, where do they make donations? Uh, shit. I think wasn't it their website? I think it's naesm.org. Yes, it's, it's naesm.org. Yes, we're able to make naesm.org. Naesm.org. Yes, and you're able to make the donations for. I don't get a dime for it. Just in case you're wondering, because you know how the girls be. Communications our partner. And clarity is our friend. <laughs> I don't get a dime for it. There's nothing. Not making no money off of that, you know. Because there's a bitch right. that's doing a creep thing piece right now. Yeah. You're gonna pay for your tire with that. Sweetie, my tire's already paid for because I paid my insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I paid my insurance. <laughs> yeah. Uh who is this down here? McKean McKenna. Makia, if you're colored, you're a fool. Right. Right. Put put Makia's girl, comment up there. Right, girl with a name like Makia. Makia, if you're cuff, if you're colored, you're a fool. If you're gay, you're even a dumber fool. If you're a woman, you're definitely a fool times three. <laughs> Anyone that's screaming Trump 2024 and you're in the minority category, you're a fool. If you're anything other than a white man. If you're not a white man, a cisgendered, which now I'll use that term, a cisgendered between the ages of 35 to 65 year old white man, you're a fool. F O. O L. You're a fool. You're a fool. You're a fool. Now I'm not gonna sit up here and act like that Kamala Harris is perfect. Nobody because is. no politician is perfect. I don't believe nothing that the motherfuckers say, but I believe <laughs> what they show me. And I every time that Trump has opened his mouth. He showed me exactly who he is. Yesterday, I watched him on the thing talk about how much more his rally was bigger than Martin Luther the King. Now he's a fool. But see, he 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 says shit like that for people who gonna believe that dumb shit. I, I I watched him talk about how his rally was bigger than Martin Luther King. If you don't understand, if you don't see how this white man is coming in here and still trying to minimize everything about black people and, and place his place him in a Superior position over colors. You are a fool. You're a buffoon. A buffoon. And I, I sit and I just, why? I just be like, you haven't heard black jobs? Like, what is, what, can someone steal? Can someone please dissect what a black job is? Is this a black? Are we, are we doing a black job? Oh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> this is definitely black. <laughs> Without a doubt. This is a black job. <laughs> it's just like, I just. I've done a lot for the blacks. <laughs> you have to look around and see all the things I've done for the blacks. Right. Great community of people. Right. Great, but I'm not a part of it. But great, great community of people. And I just sit there and I, I watch how people just be like, girl. But some fit, some uh, some audio footage was just leaked recently yeah. from Trump's sister. Oh, this is what she said. Hold on, let me get it up here. Is it over here? Oh yeah, it should be playing here. Oh wow. Is it the lack of deliberation? Oh my God, the president's sister. And the lie. Oh my God. The president's sister, retired federal judge Marianne Trump Ferry, was recorded by her niece Mary slamming her famous brother. Change of story is a lack of preparation, the lying, the holy sh 
All he wants to do is appeal to his base. He has no principles. I'm none. None. Donald's out for Donald. Period. She said Donald is out for Donald. Period. You know, and it's just, I don't know. I don't, I, I just think that there are people who are just, um, I don't even know what to say about his people, like like his his followers. I mean, I know we've talked about it being a cult. I know we've talked about them being delusional and just being idiotic and all of the things, but I really do think that there's something off with them. I really do. Uh, Mo, I'm about to send you the QR code for donations for the starter house. I already sent it to him. Yeah, I got it okay. in the system already. Thank you. Thank you, Dominique. Um, I got it in the system already. I want to know, for black people that are voting for Trump, what is he saying to you? Or what is he? What, what area of your life is, it is that he's speaking to you? Is it because some of you are convicted felons? And you see that he, as a convicted felon, has the, has the ability to maneuver through places of power. Could that be it? Is it because he let Kodak Black out of jail and a couple of other niggas <laughs> that made you be like, he's for the niggas? Because uh, there definitely couldn't be the stimulus because that money, that he, was, he definitely was not in favor of you receiving that money. He surely was not. What is it that he's, what is it uh, that about him that is speaking to you that is telling you, I need to vote Trump 2024. Now, listen, I'll, if you vote in Trump 2024, when it happens, or if it happens. No, it's not happening. But go ahead. Well, if it happens, and you vote Trump 2024, and the things go in a, in a place because of the, the, your representative and the party in power, and, and then all of the things are stripped from you because you as a colored folk or, or, or whatever, I'd like to know what is going to be the thing after that. Who, right. What, 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 how, because this person is standing right here in front of you. So I'd like to know what is it that he's speaking to you? What, what area of your life? If you have faggot friends, gay relatives, fag, dyke, lesbian, you know, people that are related to you, that are close to you, that are, and you hear these people and you know that their policy is going forth and stripping this sm small group of people rights away just for existing and living. And mm -hmm. you as a person of color don't think that you're on the top of that list, but you're not being spoken about because you're really the bigger picture. Because the moment that they start going in, they start hitting. You better know it. Minority groups, marginalized groups, know that the biggest group that they're not talking about is where they're going to sweep first or second because they're going to hit us the way they're going to hit us. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I'm, I'm trying to understand what is it, this, what area is he or his policies or any of the people, what is, what are they speaking to you on? Someone said it best in the comments. He hasn't talked policy, but I, that's what I'm saying. I don't understand what it is that people are drawn to. Now, on the other hand, I think Tim Walls is a great VP pick. I didn't know a lot about him until she chose him, until Kamala Harris chose him. And then I started looking him up. And before I go into some of the things that he's done, his name is Walls, okay? It like, is not Waltz. Like Walls, like in here. Right, right. And in here. It's pronounced like W-A-L-L-S. It's Walls, okay? Don't be, don't be on here talking about Waltz. Because, you know, black folks love to add T's and S's to shit. Walmarts. Kroger's, Aldi's. I know. <laughs> Black folks, no, they don't change a syllable. Add a syllable, a consonant. Years. In one okay. But Tim Walls, um, he created, well, not created, he signed in, uh, in Minnesota, his home state of Minnesota, that children would get free lunch. <clears throat> and see, I think he has a sensibility about him because not only was he a veteran, because you know, you know the shit that's going on in this country for veterans is just trash. So maybe he'll have some sort of um, some sort of insight through the through the lens, through the eyes of a veteran. You know what I mean? And make some sort of provision so that things are better for mm -hmm. veterans in this country. Mm -hmm. He's a he was a former teacher. So maybe like this bullshit that they're trying to do where they're trying to have teachers carry guns. He can be instrumental in pushing back on that because he actually worked 
and the school system. Um, and like I said, he signed into um, law over in, in, in Minnesota for school kids to have free lunch. But not only do they get free lunch, poor people get to go to college for free in Minnesota. Oh. Like if he can bring some of that shit to the federal level and, you know, across the country also because it's in Minnesota, you know, Paisley Park, uh, Prince's home. He signed into, um, he named a highway or something after Prince or some shit. But then also he named July 20th. Now, July 15th is Jackie Washington. Bitch, day. It ain't, ain't no other day but Jackie Washington Day. But come on, what he did on the July 20th, 20th is Beyonce's day. Yes. You just said it was no other day. But Jackie Washington Day <laughs> supersedes Beyonce. I love Beyonce. Right, 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 but right. Jackie Washington Day supersedes. Right. So he's done a lot. Like he's, oh, and then he um, also. He did some sort of a coalition with the Straight Gay Alliance um, in his home state as well. So he's always been inclusive is the bottom line. So I think he's a great pick. Again, I ask the question. Are, 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 you, are a lot of you not elderly or have elderly parents or related to somebody that Trump is not the pick for that because he going to cut away. How y'all going to pay for y'all mama shit? Girl. A big mama stuff. Child folk getting $20 a month for food stamps. How y'all going to do that? How y'all going to handle that? Because I know every time I go to use my mama's food What is he call. saying that you're not listening? I want, What is he saying that you're not listening to? Right. Not that you're listening to. What is he saying that you're not hearing? Because I'm hearing all this shit. Every time that there's a question asked about because he always talked about we were the greatest economy. Mm -hmm. We had the great. When I was in office, we had the great. Sweetie, you piggyback off of everything that Obama left you. Right. A lot of y'all, as someone I know in particular, have been posting about Obama's need to return. Trump piggyback off of everything that the Obamas left for him and then tanked it. Mm -mm -mm. And then tanked it. So I, what are y'all, what are, what is he saying? That you're not listening to. Is anyone? Do we have anyone there? Hold on, I saw somebody. I was trying to put these comments. Okay, I don't. I didn't read it, but somebody said uh, he loves Trump because he's old. Trump makes him feel comfortable in this new world. Oh, Trump's make, Trump makes him feel comfortable in this new world. Wait a minute, made me what? Oh, what? Made me the first woman in the history of my union to be an engineer. He loved Trump because he's old. Well, are you a Trump supporter, Miss T? I'm so confused. No, she's not saying she's a Trump supporter. No, I know. She said her boss, but I'm just so, so asking. Are you a Trump supporter also? Yeah, I, 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 I don't see it for him. But what are they not hearing, Craig? I, I'm what are they not hearing? But, but, uh, now, you know, I, I love TikTok, man. This white lady can't. She said some stuff that was really, really powerful. And she was a Trumper. She said some very important things. And I want y'all to hear it. You see it, Mom? Oh, you want me no, to hit I'm it? Sorry, yeah, I was trying to get that comment on. I can hit it. Okay, go ahead. Last week I made a video about how I voted for Trump in 2016 and his presidency was the start of my worldview and belief system really unraveling because it started to expose a lot of things to me that I didn't see, I didn't see before. Growing up in the white evangelical church, there's so much racism, but you don't see it when you're in it. And they do a really good job of covering it up. And when I say you don't see it when you're in it, I'm talking about as a white person because black people, Hispanic, any person who is not white, I'm sure it was very obvious to them and they knew and they were trying to tell us. So I was already starting to see it. And then when George Floyd was murdered in 2020, that's when it just blew the lid right off it for me. Seeing how people that I once really respected and would pay money to go hear them speak, which now feels so crazy. Why are you paying money to hear a pastor preach, whatever. The way they would not even acknowledge that this man was wrongfully murdered and they found ways to actually justify it or they found ways just to not speak out about it whatsoever really messed with my head and then it made me do a deep dive on all the experiences that i had growing up and as someone that was raised in that christian conservative bubble one of the talking points that they use is they use how 
the Democratic Party uses black people by manipulating them and brainwashing them into voting for them. Now, what that communicates is that black people can't think for themselves. It communicates that black people are incapable of critical thinking. Basically, it's a way for white people to stay in power and to belittle black people's ability to think for themselves. It's a way to keep white people from actually listening and believing black people, and it all it keeps them in a place of superiority. And remember, a lot of this, it feels unconscious when you're in it. I don't think I would have ever consciously said like, yeah, I have racist belief systems. And it's really hard to unsee it once you see it. Miss T said- I love what uh, she said. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, Miss T said no, nah, she doesn't support um, Trump. Just to let y'all know. But that lady that was just speaking, she spoke facts for real, and like that's what that's the kind of clarity that you get when you come from out of that haze. But a lot of folk don't want to come out of that haze. All right, I'd like to speak to that because my mother was an well is an avid uh, TBN watcher during the whole George Floyd. Uh, murder and the visual display of his murder on national television and 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 the crime that was the heinous evil vicious crime that was committed so that the world could see i watched how tbn mm. the trinity broadcasting network mm -hmm. handled that whole situation and i was blown I was blown at how all of those white pastors and white evangelical leaders were talking about the injustice that were do was being done to the police system. Mm -hmm. How they were talking about the way that the government and the way that things were ordained by God as far as the mm -hmm. government. I was watching this and I was like, what in the entire fuck? <laughs> right. And see, those same seeds are the same seeds that, that, that they use to keep black folks enslaved, trying to justify slavery and had them conditioned to believe that that was what that was the will of God. Because, you know, black folks, African slaves couldn't read. So they were translating these Bible stories for them. And just the way that that those black evangel evangelists be talking, Trump said that he ain't no fucking Christian. Y'all so ready for Jesus to come back, bitch? That y'all thinking that these people are us? No more. Don't don't lean over. No, no. I'm they so sorry. ready for Jesus. <laughs> they so ready for Jesus to come back that they are. They want to usher in the doomsday. Mm -hmm. Thinking that this. That's what I be thinking it be. Right. Jesus, Jesus on his way. He on his way, and all this is a part of the prophecy. And it's just like. <laughs> so. It's crazy. And, and, and it, but but keeping intact with, in line with what you said. Here we go. I can't vote for a party that is for all kind of sexual perversions. I can't do it. I can't vote for a party that's going to accept transgenders going into women's restroom. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't go with a party that wants to cut little girls breasts off to make them boys. I can't go with a party that says you can be a boy today and a girl tomorrow. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't support a party that wants to remove God from its party platform. You in trouble when the nation forgets God. I can't follow a party that wants to sexualize our children in school, put drag queens in front of them, reading them little children's stories. I can't do it. I can't support a party that wants to take the rights of parents away. In California right now, parents are being arrested because they won't go along with the sexualization of their children. But there are many parents that are compromising. Y'all got to make a decision. It's either God or the devil.
he gonna preach his dumb ass and that congregation right back into slavery. He's so worried about tra trainees. That's the pro that and that's that is the problem. He didn't miss all of the racism and all of the other shit. That is the problem. You niggas gonna be right back in Handmaid's Tale. That's that's they so blindfolded about it. The faggots. Oh, they gonna get rid of fags. Let's do it. We gotta do it, sweetie. <laughs> fags are a minority. Trainees are minorities. Colored. Women. All women. Elderly. Disabled. Sick. The unhoused or homeless. Are all minorities. And these are all a part of the policies. They're trying to criminalize all the things on that list. And you worried about the facts? Mm -mm. No, racism will not end with Kamala. No, we're still in America. Right. It's not going to end with that. But what we're not going to do is put a motherfucking KKK endorser, KKK leader at the at the forefront of it. 